lucky, probably a little longer than you wanted on the sidelines, but valuable to, to come back before the finals. Yeah, really looking forward to getting back this week. Um, but it was close last week, but um, just couldn't quite get up. So, yeah, really looking forward to getting out with the boys and um, having a good win on Saturday night. A lot of people talking about taking the game lightly, given it is against a side that isn't finals bound. But having said that, there's, for you, in terms of personally, everything at stake to, to state your claim for a Yeah, exactly. Switch. I've uh, yeah, missed three weeks, so if I don't um, perform and play well tomorrow night, I might not... Uh, Get, get, stay, stay on the side, so I'll be going 100% and uh, hopefully all the boys as well will be going flat out and we can have a good win. From a team perspective, what do you want to get out of the clash? Oh, we want to have a win of course, we want to take good form into the finals, so um, just structurally get everything right and sound and um, crash in, have a good game and then uh, take it into next week. Jamie, you've had even longer on the sidelines. Yeah, 20, 20 weeks since the last played AFL, so it's been a while. What are you hoping to get out of the clash? Um, oh, the main thing is obviously just to get back out and in amongst it with the boys, as Lockie was saying. But um, you know, for me, being out for so long, I've probably a uh, bit, little bit of fitness. Um, you know, make sure I run out the game well. But then also just um, it's all the stuff that you can't really train. It's the you know the, the game sense, um, running patterns, all that sort of stuff. That yeah, that'll be that'll be my main goal. Do you feel like it's perhaps a little bit of an audition for you heading into the final? Absolutely. It is. Yeah, yeah. As Lockie said, it's um, if, if we don't perform, like we know that uh, you know this week we have got some guys that that have been um, what's the word managed, I suppose, and um, you know they'll they'll be coming back in, and so yeah, we're we're going to fight for our lives at, at this weekend for sure. It's great, great credit to you that you're back in the side this week after such a, a long layoff and you played a couple of VFL games, but Brad Scott must think of pretty highly of you that he brings you in this week. Not sure, not really sure what he thinks of me, but uh, yeah, no, well, obviously I'm wrapped to be back in and, and hopefully I don't let him down and I can take the opportunity and that's, you know, that's all, I, all I've been waiting for is just to get that one opportunity to come back in and, and hopefully I can take it this week and I'll be doing everything to do that. The, the group's had a number of years sort of fighting for finals positions late in the year. A bit of a luxury and a weird position to be in as a group, given you've already kind of got that spot locked away and you can not necessarily play around, but, but I guess flirt with form a little bit and, and try different things in the final round. Yeah, I don't know if flirting with form's the right, the right word, way to put it, but yeah, you're right, the last few years we've sort of been around that, that um, sort of eighth and ninth and trying to get into that last spot. And I know 2012 we were, we were finished eighth. So, yeah, look, it's nice to know that going into the last round we've, we've locked in the final spot, but... Yeah, I think as Lockie touched on before, we'll just be trying to get all the structures right and make sure we work on a few things that even on the weekend we didn't do so well and, and tr really try and um, you know, hit those nails on the head and, and um, perfect the game. How's a great feeling about the finals campaign? Obviously you've spoken about the importance of this final round, but um, looking ahead to, to next week, how's a, how's a great feeling? Yeah, pretty excited. I mean, you know, everyone knows here that we've, we do have a final next week, but you want to sort of keep your focus on this week and we've sort of identified some areas that you know probably aren't up to final standard at the minute in our game and so that's sort of a good opportunity this week to, to sort of work on them and then hopefully next week um, you know, all the boys will be pretty excited to get out and run around hopefully in front of a big crowd and play some good footy. Will anyone be uh, tuning in to watch the Carlton Essendon game earlier in the afternoon? I'm sure there will be for you, yeah. Coaches probably more than more likely than players, yeah. Pressure for spots. Has the coach said anything to you about what happens after this weekend, or, or what he wants to see you do? Play well this week. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I mean, I'm not stupid. We're both Lockie and I know that you know we've got this one chance to to put our name up, and if we play well, then um, you know hopefully come match match community next week, we'll be able to you know they'll they'll think a little harder about whether we play or not. And um, yeah, so it's basically the balls in our court now. Because you miss so much footy, do you feel well enough prepared f for this week and, and heading into finals? Because obviously the intensity is going to jump up again? Yeah, it certainly will. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, before I played VFL, I probably had a good four, four or five weeks of really solid running. Before that, um, the conditioning staff have been really good, doing plenty of, um, plenty of cross-training, all that, keeping fit. So I, just, I don't think I'll have too, many, too much problems with that, not too many problems. So, yeah, right, there's only one way to find out, I suppose, and let's get out there and, and have a run around. How close were you to playing um, last week? Yeah, it was really close. Travelled over there, but I um, just pulled up a little bit sore from training, so... It was a bit, uh, a bit disappointing, but um, probably the right call not to play, and uh, hopefully we can have a good game this week and um, stay on the side for the final. Could you feel a bit better this time, you know, this week compared to the yeah, same Yeah, I was about to do full training and pulled up a lot better, so um, no concerns there, I'll be fine to play tomorrow night. A bit of a rare situation for the group to have a, a reasonably fit, full defensive stock. I, I guess that's great for, for the group in terms of competitiveness. Yeah, very competitive for spots. So, um, yeah, I know if I don't uh, perform tomorrow night, I, I might lose my spot straight away. So, um I'll be doing everything I can to have a good game tomorrow night and um, get a win with the boys. It's been a fair bit of speculation that uh, Jared Waite might be lured to the Kangaroos next year. Um, would it be a perfect fit for this club? Oh, well, he's a pretty good player because I played on him a few weeks ago and he kicked the bag on me. So um, 
yeah, if, if that was to happen, um, he's a very good player, so I wouldn't be saying um, no to that. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.